Hello friends, good afternoon. Namaste, Adab. You are watching Women TV India for women, by women and celebrating women. And today we have with us a very special guest. She has traveled all over the world representing India and uh, she has been bestowed with the title of Shezadi Taranum by the UP government, the 11th Kalakar Award for outstanding contribution to the arts, to, uh, to the music, world of music. And uh, she has the image of a rock star. And uh, she is the one and only, the inspirational queen of Ghazal, Pinaz Masani. Friends, let's give her a big clap. Welcome, Pinaz. Welcome to our show. And many, many women, are, men and women out there are waiting to listen to you today. Hello, Pinaz. Hello, Lippi. I'm uh, very happy to be amongst uh, such a wonderful uh, audience today on a women's channel talking about women. Thank you, Lippi. Thank you, Pinas. And uh, before we proceed, we would uh, like to have a video. Can we have the video, please? Can we have the video, please? Uh -huh. So, Pinaz, uh, I would uh, like to say a uh, couple of lines in your honor. Ek bar jiske dil par humne hukumat kar li, fir wo dil bhi hamara aur dil wale bhi. And uh, Pinaz, you have been reigning over so many hearts. You are the queen of Ghazal and you have conquered so many hearts. But Pinaz, uh, before we um, talk about other things, let's begin at the beginning. Uh, which is to say you were the first person uh, from your community to start singing ghazals. And in a community where being cultured means, you know, being uh, listening to Western uh, classical music, you know, uh, like uh, Zubin Mehta, who's a role model. Uh, here you were uh, singing uh, ghazals. Um, and uh, did it come as a culture shock, especially because um, ghazal singing is supposed to be a man's arena? Uh, how did you? Uh, how was the beginning? This girl from uh, now, now, uh, Navar, Yeah. Now this uh, is a double question. The, yeah. The first part of the question is how I came into the realm of Ghazals being a Parsi. Yes. Now uh, I am very fortunate to belong to a family that had deep roots in classical music, thanks to my father. Is no more with us, Marhum uh, Dolly Masani. So Papa hailed from uh, Nausari, which is in Gujarat. And he was in Baroda studying electrical and mechanical engineering at the Kalabhavan. Now, dad was the head boy, as you say, of the school. And in one of the music uh, programs, Aftabi Mausiki, Ustad Fayas Khansab, who was then the court musician at the Siajirao Palace, in Baroda came as the chief guest. Now, Daddy and uh, Ustaji met, and Daddy was very fond of classical music, so he took up the discipleship of uh, Fayyaz Khasab, and he started learning music from him. So imagine a young Parsi boy in 19, 
in the 19, uh, late 1920s, learning classical music and carrying on his education. So music has been in my genes. I've got the genes from my uh, father and my mama, Pilu Masani. She was, uh, she was the disciplinarian. She was the motivator. She was a no-nonsense person. So that's how I got music in my genes. I started classical music. And in one of, uh, during my school days, I took part in a competition in which I won the first prize in which Jaydev Ji was the judge. Remember Jaydev Ji? Such beautiful yes, songs. Yes, the very Jaydev famous Jaydev Ji. Hum Dono, Reshma, Shehra. So I got the first prize there. And uh, Jaydev Ji then took me under his wings and told me that I must continue my music. Either I do it just for the heck of it and settle down and get married or I do it for the passion. So I said, no, I want to continue with music. So he introduced me to Madhurani Ji, India's finest ghazal singers, an institution in the field of ghazals. I met Madhuji and then I met ghazal. So this was way back in 1981. That's how I came into the field of ghazals. Now, the second part of the question, uh, being a male-dominated field, Lippi, um, I, uh, yes, during my time in the 80s, uh, there were a lot of, uh, uh, there were so many successful male singers, like there was, of course, Jagjit Ji, who was senior to us, Jagjit Singh Ji. Then there was uh, Pankaj Udas, then there was Anub Jalota, and Talat Aziz, and there was so many, Bhupender Ji. And, uh, but I never considered myself as a female or male. I said, I'm an artist. I have to be, uh, I'm an artist, whether I'm a male or a female, that does not matter. I will, I will do my sadhana, I will do my music, and I will sing before the audiences. So there was a lot of mental block earlier in people's minds as they felt that they, they, they had forgotten the works of Begum Akhtarji, who was a doyen of ghazals in our field. It's because of Begum Akhtarji that we are all singing ghazals in the first place in concerts. Um, so uh, I had a little difficulty in the middle, in the beginning, when people were not ready to accept a female voice in the ghazals. But I, I loved my art. I was not bothered. I, I just was singing because I loved to. And that's how one thing led to another. And I cut my first album, Aapki Bazam Me Pinaz Misani. And then when the journey began, I'm so happy. Oh, what an incredible journey it has been, Pinaz. Now, Pinaz, uh, you, you are also known as the Bollywood Queen of Ghazal, meaning to say you have sung many Ghazals uh, for Bollywood as well. And um, I remember you uh, sharing an anecdote where you were singing a duet for uh, Ham Naujawan, Devanand's uh, Ham Naujawan. Uh, and you were singing the duet with the legendary Kishore Kumar. And um, uh, while um, he, and you, uh, while you were waiting for him to come, he burst into the room in a checkered lungi and a white kurta, and he had the room in splits. And uh, yes. it was uh, quite a hilarious uh, interaction with him. Would you like to tell us something about that? Yes. Uh, actually, for me, it was the other other way around. Normally, ghazal uh, singers get into films. I started out as a playback singer. Uh, my first song was given to me by a very wonderful music director, uh, Rajesh Roshan, and then Jaydev Ji, and then our dear Panchunda, R.D. Berman. So I had this duet uh, where I was singing for Young Tabu with Kushor Da. And I was a very, you know, dubli, patli, si, uh, ladki, very scared, came, my gosh, Kishoda will come. I'm supposed to sing this song with him. But when he came in, he was so full of, oh, Kansi, are boy, Parsi, ladki hai. Very sweet. Bhalo, bhalo, khup, bhalo. <laughs> and, then he's, uh, and then he sang. And I still remember I had to sing uh, for Baby Tabu. And it went something like this. Uh, you are my darling. Tu hai me dija. You are my darling. 
So that was this duet which I sang. So it was lovely. So this is so, before. Uh, this is yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, you were quite wonderful in that uh, song. And uh, Pinas, uh, I heard somewhere that uh, Mohammad Rafi is your favorite singer. Is that true? Oh, there are so many singers I adore, starting from Madhurani ji and and of course Lata ji and Asha ji, Geeta da, Noor Jahan ji. Uh, but yes, I am a die-hard fan of Rafi Sahab. मुझे ऐसा लगता है Rafi Sahab को सुनके के सुर जो उनके निकलते हैं ना, it's as if uh, you've taken a hanky and you put it in a bucket of honey. And you take out the hanky, and it's absolutely honey and smooth and wonderful. Mm-hmm. And he sings the most wonderful, difficult compositions, and it sounds as if oh, it's so easy. What a range! And it comes from the fact that he was a wonderful human being. He was a lovely soul. He was always smiling, always helpful, uh, full of full of character, full of life. And कहते हैं ना God bestowed so much of music and so much of quality in His voice that when God wants something, you just you just stand there and listen, and it's just wonderful. So you've uh, described Muhammad Rafi so beautifully. What metaphors you have used to uh, describe the voice uh, of no, the? No, no, I'm, I'm nobody in front of these stalwarts. They were real stalwarts of our music field. And Rafi you worked Sama. with all of them. You worked with I never all of them. Worked with, I never worked with. I never. I was not fortunate to work with Rafi Sahab. Though I had, uh, I was singing once in a private mehfil where a very old Baba had come from Rishikesh to one of the residences of uh, a family, and I was singing a bhajan. Then Rafi <laughs> Sahab also had come, so he had blessed me, but I never sang for with him. He was no more. By the time I was uh, into the field of uh, music, he was no more. So, so Pinas, would you like to uh, sing any song of Mohammad Rafi? Would you like to share with our audience? Yes, so this is the jurat karne wali baat hogi. Lekin fir bhi, see, I was very close to Jaydev ji, and uh, music director Jaydev gave us songs in uh, such beautiful compositions. <clears throat> so there's this one composition I was very fond of, which was composed by Jaydev ji, enacted by Dev Sahab, sung by Rafi Sahab, and uh, written by Sahil Ludhiani. So two lines. Um, you can sing. I know you sing very well, Lippi. मैं जिंदगी का साथ निभाता चला गया मैं जिंदगी का साथ निभाता चला गया हर फिक्र को धुएं निपुराता चला गया मैं जिंदगी का साथ निभाऊं बर्बादियों का सोग मनाना फजूल था बर्बादियों का सोग मनाना फजूल था मनाना फजूल था मनाना फजूल था डन 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 बर्बादियों का जश्न मनाता चला गया हर फिक्र को धुए ने उड़ा Wow, that was awesome! It's uh, just spellbinding listening to you sing this afternoon. You're making it so special for us, Pinaz. But Pinaz, I would like to um, uh, say something. You have the image of a rock star. You burst onto the um, um, uh, scene uh, in the '80s when Ghazal was becoming very popular with the urban middle class. And uh, yeah. you know, uh, we had Jagjit Singh with his guitar. We had Pankaj Das. And Gulam Ali and Mehdi Hasan, and uh, they were all men. And you were this one woman who burst onto the Ghazal scene, and you were uh, classed something as a pop stylist. Basically, you were marked out as somebody who's very special. And j- like you just sang these lines, uh, Pinas. Uh, I think they said something about your philosophy of life as well. Would you like to share your philosophy of life and tell us? What your success mantra? Your, the key to becoming this uh, huge rock star that you became. Uh, well, 
see basically i'm a very introverted person now i happen to uh, uh, come from a zoroastrian parsi family that looks very un ghazli <laughs> in the sense i had i had this skin and i had this curly hair which i inherited from my darling mom so i was an antithesis of a, of a wonderful ghazal singers you know sari clad kadra so it is different so i am me i'm pinaz i'm different and my teacher madhurani ji my guru has always said that kisi bhi art mein artist ki personality jhalakni chahiye तो मैं शोक मज चंचल मिजाज की हूँ तो मेरे आर्ट में भी वो झलकता है सो सो दैट्स हाउ इन दिस एंटायर रियल एम एंड गॉड हैज बीन वेरी काइंड द नॉर्थ एंड दिल्ली हैज बीन सो काइंड गिविंग मी सो मच ऑफ एनकरेजमेंट सो मच ऑफ फैन फॉलोइंग आई रियली हैव टू थैंक एवरीबॉडी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम गॉड टू माई पेरेंट्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली madhurani ji my guru my fans the press who the press the uh, people who wrote for me because it was different and i was from a different uh, field all together together and i was trying to make a mark in a realm which uh, was of urdu and ghazals and as uh, I, i suppose that's how i used my music to a lot of charity causes and uh, i'm very grateful that i got the padma shri in 2009 what can i say it's khuda ki bahut nehmat hai aur aap sab ki duaye hain so so pinaz we are very very proud of you and lots and lots of your fans are watching you today uh, singing and chatting and uh, sharing your secrets so pinaz tell me uh, what is the secret of your uh, beauty your uh, your good looks your fantastic voice your curly hair tell us the secret of your good looks please share that with us uh, uh you think i'm good looking oh my god more than that much Little more than so that. are you so yeah, are you you're you're so pretty. Pretty. oh okay anyway well if you say so i accept with uh, humility as i said my curls come from my jeans that is my mom and um, i suppose she was a very pretty lady and my dad was a very handsome parsi gentleman tall very very good nature and i think uh, inside it, it's it's uh, what is inside a person that is reflected in the outside so i'm not saying that i'm all very good but i'm genuinely a very positive and a very happy person at heart i am very contented which maybe reflects in what i do i of course i want to work hard and come ahead but i do it because i have passion for music not because i want to reach a certain level and i want to win so many awards and i want to earn so much of money so basically because of contentment positivity uh i i do i do a lot of walking i look after myself my health my food um um i do exercises i do my stretches a little bit of yoga and uh, I, yeah uh, so i i try i try look at uh, and praying and god and i thank god for every autograph i used to sign lippy earlier day in earlier times every photograph people came to me with open arms and said madam madam photo every photograph every autograph i have signed i used to look up to god and said thank you thank you for the adulation thank you for all that you have given me god there are so many wonderful singers in this world today and you chose me to get this popularity besides popularity anybody can be popular but to have a popularity over 40 years of music and to have people oh, like yeah, you in you love me i think that's yeah. most important yes and uh, i think it's your uh, beautiful inside that shows outside as well pinas i can vouch for that that you're a wonderful beautiful uh, gem of a person so pinas uh, now that you're talking of god we are in the um, poetry month you know we just celebrated world poetry day and uh, ghazal is a <clears throat> form of beautiful poetry form of celebrates love of poetry yes it celebrates love ishq and uh, love for a mortal beloved and love for the divine 
or uh, the mystic uh, or the mystic uh, as we say so uh, pinaz bhai find you singing so many beautiful beautiful ghazals speaking of love ish uh, unrepeated love uh, so tell us uh, pinaz uh, would you like to uh, i would like to ask you have you experienced ishq the love of a mortal um, soulmate of a mortal Absolutely. being have you experienced it <laughs> of course see i tell you ishq kisi se bhi ho sakta hai it could be ishq as you say of the divine the love of my parents my parents have been with me for the longest time i just lost papa when he was 97 and mom when she was 84 so they were like my i really love them and then of course i've experienced relation a relationship a very wonderful person in my life whom i love and i respect so uh, and my sister nazneen she is my and my brother in law dinyar so many wonderful friends so ishq and mohabbat jo hoti hai na wo it is takes so many forms little children who come up to me um, i i love them all so it has lots of dimensions i love life i look at the trees i i and i look at the birds and i look at this the waters of the rivers and i thank god for everything so love is for life you love life so you love people so so pinaz you are in love with uh, life itself and that is yes. i think uh, your true spirituality which comes across which beams forth and all of us can see it your true spirituality your ishq with uh, uh, the uh, the world with the, the with the world yes to make yes, it a happier yes. place and love makes the world you know this is one music there's one universal language one is music music is no language it just i remember when i was performing i performed all over the world whether it's uh, south america or, or korea or indonesia or fiji or sesha mauritius um well all over and uh, there is one they may not understand the words of a ghazal i remember i was in ghana i was supposed to sing this raag darbari ghazal meri zindagi hai zalim tere gham se aashikara tera gham hai dar haqeeqat mujhe zindagi se pyara this is a shakil budani ghazal now there was the president and the vice president sitting over there in the audience in ghana they did not understand the lyrics though it was explained but raag darbari ka ala jo hai that itself is so wonderful <clears throat> that the, they were supposed to light the lamp and go away uh, because they had other engagements but lippy they sat for the entire 90 minute iccr concert so that is what music does to you and that is what love does to you 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 extend a helping hand you you meet eyes with somebody uh, well meaningly you try and touch them you touch their hearts where anywhere in the world love is universal the more you give the more you will get in life so pinaz i think you're a very rich person you have music and you have love and uh, w- what more can a human ask for you have it all pinaz and thank you for touching our lives with your uh, love and your music but pinaz just like you said about um, languages you know that you uni- uh, music being a universal language you are also a polyglot singer which means you have represented india uh, in many countries yes. around the world countries, and uh, yes. everywhere wherever you have been you have sung uh, in the language of that particular area you have managed to do that so tell me how does it help to be uh, to be a polyglot singer means uh, to be able to sing in the language of another culture how does it help i like this phrase polyglot yeah polyglot polyglot yeah. Oh, first time I've heard this. Very interesting. Yeah. Yes. Now I have had the fortune to represent Ministry of External yes. Affairs through the Indian Council for Cultural Relations over the last zillion years <laughs> to all over the world. So what I always do is when I land up in that place, or even before that, I request the High Commissioner or the Ambassador of that particular country to give me some lyrics, something which is a popular song. and i learned that i write it in uh, english or devnagari and then sing it there <coughs> and you should see the the this their eyes light up they get so happy when they see when they know that this artist has come from india singing our song so like if it's a uh, mauritius then i sang the sega 
I don't remember the words, but it went like, Alalila, Alalila, do ma ma ma, Alalila, mo konta usega, Alalila, Alalila, do ma ma ma, Alalila, mo konta usega, mo konta usega. So things like that. Then I went to Sri Lanka and I sang Hindu nil. So things like that. And or if it's South America, that So I always make an effort to sing, whether it's a Nepali song uh, or in Bhutan or in Japan. Japan was a wonderful song. I've forgotten the lyrics, but it was so beautiful. So I make an effort to sing in the language of the people um, where I go to visit. So, so Pinas, you are uh, uh, so impressive. You sing even better than Shakira. You know uh, that pop yeah. star. Uh, pop, yeah, I mean, huh? yeah. But but Pinas, um, uh, I would like to uh, ask you something. Um, uh, the Parsis, the community to which you belong, they are known for their uh, culture and for their compassion and you have always uh, you know sung for charities and causes and um, yes. for the Beatty campaign uh, I think you uh, sang the title track so um, uh, the title track of the Beatty campaign was sung by you so what do you think That's of right. uh, female feticide in India female feticide is uh, one of the oh, greatest uh, yeah. social evils in India what do you think about it no, it's, uh, you know, uh, sometime back, uh, there was this uh, a wonderful gentleman who was then the Joint Secretary of the Steel uh, Authority of India. And then he then he went on to become the Chief Election Commissioner, uh, Janab S.Y. Qureshi ji. So uh, he asked me, he gave me this project to write something on Beti and to sing it in all the places where female fetishide is prevalent. And you will be surprised that uh, it's prevalent in most of the uh, well-to-do families and they still have this stigma about the girl child. The girl child will always get less, uh, they'll always be malnourished. If there's a little jug of milk, the boy will get more, the girl will maybe get it or maybe not get it because they feel the boy will start earning and bring them luck and money while the girl will get married and go away. So what does it matter? So uh, then this went project went to the UNICEF and we did a video on it. So uh, the lyrics were written by Nida Fazli and the music was composed by Shantanu Moitra, who had given us songs for uh, Three Idiots and uh, Parinita. So may I have one or two lines? Yeah, that would be so wonderful. That would be wonderful. It's titled Beti. It's titled Beti. And it goes like this. Sansu me preet bhare raga me geet bhare sapno me rang bhare beti. Sansu me preet bhare raga me geet bhare sapno me rang bhare beti. Lakshmi ka deep jale aarti ka shank bhaje jis ghar me vaas kare beti. so that was, you know, it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lines. Uh, yes. um, Pinas, Beautifully Pinas, written. We lost Nida Fazli. Pardon? Yeah, I, I said your song is enough to change a whole system. So, so Pinas, uh, um, would you uh, like to uh, give the women who are watching you today, your fans, uh, whose uh, hearts you have conquered and, um, you know, touched with your singing and your personality, would you like to give the women who are listening to you today a message, uh, uh, any kind of message? Would you I like to give them? All the wonderful women who are with us today, all over the world, wherever they are, uh, I only want to say this, that we are very, we must be very, very 
uh, happy and proud that we were born as a woman, as a lady, as a creator, because we create, we create, we are there, so the world is there. So you must have confidence in yourself. You must have the right to choose, to make the right choices. And for that, education is very, very important. Because if you are educated, then you will have the privilege to select what you want to do in life. You must be independent financially and also emotional independence. If you feel that you're in a relationship that is not working, that is abusive, then you must stand up for your rights and you must walk out or, or try and make that person understand. Because if you, uh, if you continue living in agony, then you yourself are at a fault. There is no need in this beautiful life which God has bestowed on you to be in a toxic relationship. So everything that's toxic should be out of your life. So be happy, do well, charm people with your woman head. Good. If you're married, look after your family, plus have your independence so that uh, nobody can push you around. When I mean financial independence, it's not that you can go shopping and all that. It is so that you can hold your own. You must be self-reliant and uh, be confident about yourself and love yourself. If you love yourself, you love the people around you. and You'll make a wonderful wife, mother, sister, a friend, a partner, a companion. So that's it. So that's such an amazing message that you've given all of us, Pinas. We thank you so much for your wonderful, wonderful message and your wonderful singing on the show today, sharing your wonderful thoughts with us, which is so very precious. All of us have been looking forward uh, to this afternoon. And uh, Panas, we wish you all the best. Keep rocking and making all of us Thank proud. You. Thank you, Panas, for being Thank on the you. show. Thank you, everybody Bye. on the show. Thank you, Lupi, Farida. God bless you. Thank you, Panas. God bless you. Thank you.